in my opinion, the single best card out of Duskmourne that everyone needs to get their hands on a copy of is Marvin Murderous Mimic. Hear me out. He's not glamorous, but he's probably the best utility card you can get for a ton of decks. Marvin is a 2-mana two 2-2 two, two toy artifact creature that reads, Marvin Murderous Mimic has all activated abilities of creatures you control that don't have the same name as this creature. Nice and simple, I told you. Marvin simply gives you another opportunity to make use of the best activated abilities in your deck. So, if you have a Llanowar Elves out and Marvin, Marvin's a Mana Dork. A Kiora's Follower or an Afeto Alchemist give you multiple permanent untaps. But the reason you need to have a copy in your collection is that he helps double up on very unique abilities of your commanders. Specifically ones that require tap abilities. Abilities that don't require a tap, like on a Kinnan Bonder Prodigy or Sisse Weatherlight Captain, don't require tapping so you can already activate them multiple times each turn. You don't need Marvin for that. So let's take a look at what decks Marvin really shines in, and all the really cool activated abilities you can do multiple times with this 2 mana creepy toy under your control. But before we take a deep dive, remember that you can pick up Marvin or any cards by checking out my sponsor Card Trader. Card Trader is a massive global marketplace that links buyers and sellers from all over the world through a single digital interface. This means that right now you could be buying cards from halfway around the world, and someone else can be selling you those cards without ever needing to be aware of each other at all. With their fantastic Zero system, you can buy from multiple vendors and have cards shipped to you in a single delivery, skipping the need for shipping costs from one, three, or a dozen individual vendors at a time. To find out how easy it is, check out the link in my description and be sure to use my promo code MECHANIC for 5% off your first order right now. So Marvin may not look like it, but he is the best mana dork you'll have in most of your decks. He can double up on your Bloom Tender taps or your Faberro Elder taps, but he can also be another copy of Gigantha if you're in five colors, getting you Wooburg on tap even if you just cast Jaggy as a creature or companion. A surprise 5 extra mana is pretty incredible for a lot of situations. But Marvin can also be a Selvala Heart of the Wilds, making twice as much mana based on the highest power of your creatures. This gets you so much mana that you can tap Selvala, make mana to cast a big creature, then tap Marvin to make even more mana to cast an even bigger creature, drawing cards for each thanks to Selvala's ability. What Marvin really does is enhance the value of your deck and your commander. It can get you your commander's effect with, essentially, haste. If Marvin is already out, easy is just two mana. You can then later cast your commander and you can use that activated ability right away on Marvin since your commander's summoning sick. This is incredibly handy for commanders like Krenko Mob Boss, who often needs a haste enabler or to survive a whole round with a target on his head to start making you more goblins. He might not look like it, but Marvin is an honorary goblin for this. He can also juice combos too. The Stella Lee combo with Cerulean Wisps is often hindered by the fact that Stella needs to tap to combo off. But if you have Marvin in play, Stella herself can be one of the three spells needed to combo with her. Cast Stella, cast another spell, and cast Wisps to use Marvin to tap and copy it over and over and over until your deck is in your hand. But Marvin can also be a menace with certain commanders, like the already dreadful The Beamtown Bullies. These guys and their tap ability are great at taking out one opponent at a time by giving them bad game-ending creatures like Inverter of Truth or Leveler but that itself is an issue. You can usually only take out one opponent at a time. But what if Marvin upped that? With Marvin out, you can cast the bullies, tap Marvin to give an opponent a game-ending creature, and tap the bullies to take out a second opponent the same turn. What would normally take three turns now only takes two and only leaves you with one opponent to stare down for a turn. As long as you can recast the bullies, even if they're removed on your opponent's turn, you've got the game sewn up. And everyone knows how much I love copying things, so pairing Marvin with a commander like Magus Lucia Kane means activating Marvin and Lucia at the same time copies your next X spell twice. 
which you just made four colorless mana to sink into. When that spell is something like a crackle with power, it makes this all kinds of crazy. If you really want to get crazy with copies, you can pair Marvin with the new Jolly Balloon Man for more tiny copies, or Ortheon Hero of Lava Brink to make big, mean copies of anything. Even Felden of the Third Path or Sahili the Sun's Brilliance get in on the fun as you can make copy after copy of the best things you've got in the graveyard or in play. My girl Jaxus the Troublemaker gets in on the fun too, as Marvin can mimic her ability for fast, punchy, and cantripping copies every turn as well. Even the twins, Garolf, Visionary Stitcher, or Ghoul Caller Gisa, want a Marvin in their lives as it helps them make bigger, cooler, or just more zombies over and over again. Chaining some of these abilities together can make for explosive turns that a lot of folks might not be expecting. Really powerful tutoring effects on commanders like Oswald Fiddlebender being a birthing pod for artifacts comes to mind as a guy who could totally be a Geppetto to Marvin's Pinocchio in this situation. Oswald can tutor up Marvin in order to run a few artifacts up a chain a turn working in tandem. Or just put Marvin in the 99 of a Captain Sisse deck, where she can tutor up Marvin and you can be grabbing two legendary permanents each turn with her out. Better if Marvin is already in play when you cast Sisse, as it means you immediately get to tutor a legendary permanent up with him. Big moves from this little guy. And these are just synergies. These are just things Marvin helps you do better. This isn't even combo land with Marvin, as he can be used as a finisher in a few different ways. Let's start with colorless combos for Marvin. As long as Marvin is in play first and doesn't have summoning sickness, Playing a Pili Pala and any creature that makes 2 mana on tap like a Palladium Mirror makes you infinite mana. You can tap Marvin to make 2 mana, then use the 2 mana to untap Marvin to make a mana of any color. Like with all of the best combos, you just return to your starting state, up a mana. That's infinite mana for anyone keeping track. You can pair Marvin with a Phyrexian Devourer and a Walking Ballista or a Triskelion to take out the whole table in a single turn. The Devourer, a funky old card, lets you exile the top card of your library to put counters on it equal to the exiled card's mana value. That's an activated ability, folks. So if Marvin also has the ability to remove counters from himself to ping opponents, well, you exile your library to put counters on Marvin, then remove all of those counters to gun down your opponents. Not bad and entirely colorless. And I haven't even gotten into what Marvin can do with Splinter Twin. As long as you have Splinter Twin enchanting any other creature, Marvin can tap to make a copy of himself, sacrificing the tapped copy to the legend rule and keep making infinite enters and dies triggers for you. This is great in an aristocrat deck or anything running Perforos or an Impact Tremors as a win con. So now you can see why I'm a big fan of this little guy. He's small, he's colorless, and enhances dozens of really good decks. Worst case scenario, he's a vanilla 2-2 two -two for 2 but he's usually the best mana dork you have in play, or he's a second copy of an activated ability that makes your deck do work. That's why I feel like he's the best card in the set and everyone should get a copy. But what do you think about Marvin Murderous Mimic? Any decks you're planning on putting him in? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to check out all of my deck lists over at my sponsor, Moxfield. Moxfield is the best deck building platform in the world and makes it easy to search for things like activated abilities thanks to their integrated search tools. You can also browse other decks, like mine, for inspiration on how to best use weird cards like Marvin. While you're there, be sure to check out my profile to never miss a brew. And be sure to check out Card Conduit. If you're looking to sell your cards, ship them unsorted to Card Conduit, where they'll assess your cards and get you the best prices. They keep a cut of the sales and send you the rest. Easy. Don't mess with multiple buy lists again, or person-to-person -person sales for a single card at a time. Sell it all with Card Conduit today. And while you're here, be sure to check out these other videos on the channel. If you were inspired to brew today, you have to hit that subscribe button. And as always, folks, good luck and have fun.